Hi everyone, welcome to my cooking vlog. I am Oynish Grandis, a Jamaican chef living here in Scotland, UK. In this video, I'll be making a simple breakfast dish. It's maize meal porridge. That is maize meal porridge. To make this porridge, our maize meal porridge, we'll be needing nine ingredients. That is nine ingredients. We've got our white maize meal, caster sugar, salt, nutmeg, cinnamon, and vanilla. We also have cold milk that is that's the whole milk and for those who are in the uk it's the blue top milk we've got coconut milk optional coconut cream could be used also but in this case we're using coconut milk and boiled water so we start the process with boiled water it's better to get the process with boil water starting with boiled water instead of the cold one it takes forever so we've got our boiled water coconut milk and we've got our full milk, our blue top milk for those who are in the UK. We've got our white maize meal. We've got our caster sugar. We've got our salt. And we've got the nutmeg, cinnamon, and vanilla. To the pot, add the boiling water, then the salt, and then the coconut milk mix together and allow to start simmering on the stove In a large bowl, add the maize meal. To this you'll now add the milk and mix thoroughly before adding to the pot. This also is to ensure that if there's any maize meal with lumps in it, it will dissolve, which is unlikely, but it's good practice to always mix separate in a bowl before adding to the pot. To the pot of simmering mixture, add the maize meal and milk. Stir gently and do so intermittently because you don't want it to stick to the bottom. There's chance that if you don't stir it every so often, the maize meal will fall to the bottom and start to burn. Maybe this is an ideal time to turn the cooker down to probably medium heat. If it's a gas cooker, the same or lower. But you give it a stir, let it rest a little, then you stir again. Please ensure not to continuously stir it because it doesn't give the chance for the pot to heat up properly so let it settle and heat up and then you stir you stop again and then you repeat the process this is to ensure that 
the maize meal at the bottom doesn't stick thus the stirring but also you stop at different intervals to ensure that the mixture of chance to heat on the stove please note that when working with maize meal and in some parts of the world it's known as cornmeal definitely in Jamaica it's called cornmeal in parts of Africa it's called maize meal and in Jamaica they'll be using the yellow maize chances are you get that also in Central Amer America for example Mexico probably in the United States where they use it to make cornbread it would be the yellow maize instead of the white one but it's the same principle that you allow it to settle a bit and you stir after a minute or so but what it does now once it starts to simmer is thicken so this is where now you stir the pot and it slowly start to thicken you'll start to see as minutes um, pass by that the liquid will become a lot more viscous it doesn't look so initially that probably there is a lot more liquid than the actual um, maize or cornmeal but this is probably one property of maize um, that probably because it's starchy I think most starchy products once you start to add water to it and mix in in something in, in hot liquid or so forth it will start to thicken and this you'll start to see with the maize meal it looks very water initially but as it ha have the chance to settle on the stove for at least 45 seconds or a minute or two and then you stir it it starts to thicken that's where the magic starts to happen and then the cooking magic you know starts to shine through as you can see now it's thickening nicely and chances are you'll have to add some liquid to it it's always good practice when you're adding the liquid to make the mixture in the first place not to use all of it it's the same thing with the water when you put the water in the pot leave at least a third of the a quarter of the water back because now with the quarter of the water that's left over from the beginning you can now use it to rinse out the bowl that had the milk and maize meal and then to the pot because what happened now once it thickens you'll need liquid and that's why it's good to use three quarters of the water at the initial stage and leave some of the boiling water till later to add to the pot when the maize thickened which it's now thickened considerably but because now we've added the liquid it had the chance to smooth out a bit and after this you'll now allow it to simmer for probably 8 to 10 minutes
At this stage, we are getting ready to sweeten the porridge and also to add the spice. Please note that your level of sugar may vary from mine, so use your discretion. Though the um, given amount have been shown in the recipe, your best bet is to use a discretion. If you feel that you need to use less or none at all, depending if you're diabetic or so forth. Also, one thing to note is that in the UK, something like this would be seen as a dessert and probably would be eaten in the, in the evening or at supper. However, in Jamaica, this is breakfast. We tend to have something like this for breakfast and normally we also add vanilla to it vanilla nutmeg and cinnamon so what we have as breakfast here in the uk would be dessert also in scotland and in england and wales breakfast porridge would be normally oats which is still something we have in jamaica but we have banana porridge maize meal porridge planting porridge a variety of stuff the idea is to start the day heavy and finish light in terms of meal also to note that in terms of spice spices we are blessed with much with many spices in the caribbean <clears throat> so we can be a bit more generous in terms of using it in our food as you can see in the porridge it seems as if there's a lot but <clears throat> to us it's not a lot that's reasonable amount here in the UK, they probably have an in, in tough the, 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 the spice instead of so much. But as I said, you just have to use a discretion. I'm from a place where <clears throat> spices are quite normal for us to use in abundance. And to us, this would be a normal amount. But if you believe that this would be too much for you, you can use less. That's basically it. So you'll make sure you mix through everything thoroughly. Um, in terms of the sugar, use your own discretion with respect to the given recipe. If you want to use less or none at all. In terms of spice, you can use less if you want. But definitely vanilla is added. And we have this as breakfast in Jamaica. Here too, I do.